Minister of Youth Development and National Service Fitzgerald Hines is looking forward to the resumption of activities at government-run youth facilities across Trinidad and Tobago post-COVID-19. On Saturday, Minister Hines embarked on a tour of the St. James Youth Facility, the Laventil Youth Facility and the Malik Youth Facility. The St. James Youth Facility is the most modern of those in Trinidad and Tobago. It is well equipped and offers a wide range of classes including fashion design, sound engineering, culinary arts and computer science. Minister Hines said his vision is to make youth facilities across Trinidad and Tobago available to communities from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. We understand that because of the COVID experience, the building has not been given the opportunity, if I may say, to serve as many of the people of, young people of Trinidad and Tobago as it should. But we are getting past the COVID challenge. The world is developing vaccines. We have learned the business of creating bubbles. And we are really looking forward to the resumption of activity here. Minister Hines said he will also focus seriously on the maintenance of the assets and noted that millions have been invested in the youth facilities and they must be put to optimal use. The minister is also expecting a comprehensive report from the management of the Laventil Youth Facility on all aspects of the physiological circumstances and its relationship to the community. Minister Hines noted the management of the facility were faced with some security challenges in the past. However, a partnership with the Interagency Task Force has ensured that it is now a safe place. It is in need of certain pieces of equipment, some of which were borrowed by unauthorized persons, and that would have been reported to the police, and I suspect those matters are still under investigation. Since then, of course, the security of the facility has been improved,